Hi, and welcome to a special edition of the Two Shot Factor. Hostile takeover, that is, rebranding Safeway. Ten Safeways will be closing the doors on May the 5th, but perhaps the one that hits hardest may be Mission BC. If we take a look at this news article, we see that residents are most displeased at the closing and are even preparing to petition. I know I'll sign that petition. In fact, if I could, I'd sign it with my right and my left hand. This whole thing right now feels almost very Simpsons mob esque. Oh, there's no justice like angry mob justice. Now, Safeway is owned by Sobeys, who are closing stores due to unprofitable performance levels. Although UFCW president, Ivan Limpright believes the closures aren't exactly a business decision, but rather a tactic in advance of upcoming negotiations between Sobeys and the Union. We had a chance recently to interview Lindsay, a baker from Safeway Mission. Carlos, run the clip. Hi, we're here with Lindsay today from Safeway in Mission BC, which is going to be closing its doors on May the 5th. Hi. So Safeway, which is owned by Sobeys, and that is owned from, and that is part of the conglomerate Empire Division, is that right? Uh, I know Sobeys, I'm not too familiar with Empire. They're fearless. And they answer to no one. So how are you informed of the sudden change? Well, actually, I was um, scrolling through Facebook the morning that it happened, and I saw a post on Facebook letting me know that I was going to be out of a job. You're all fired. Really? So they just dropped the bomb on you like that? Like, they didn't say anything before? There shouldn't there be a prior notice, some kind of severance package? Yeah, what happened is there was um, a staff meeting at the store, so anybody who was working that day, um, you know, they received a termination notice. They were aware of what happened. But those of us who weren't at work uh, at that time, there was no notice given. In order to save Safeway, a petition may not even be enough. That is why I'm making this video. To research and spread awareness. To dig deep, almost like an X-file. To create a group that is willing to do anything, to go to any level to save Safeway. I call this group Two Shots People. Come on, buddy. Let's go. You don't like that name? Okay, fine. We'll call it Carlos's people. How's that? With more people pledging allegiance to Carlos's people, we can share and spread this video until it reaches Ellen. Ellen helps people. She cares. She dances. She's funny. She ordered pizza for everyone at the Oscars. Who's your favorite movie star? They're here. Well, who do you want to talk to? <laughs> Ellen, if you see this video, I'm actually a big fan of yours. Did you ever know that you're my hero? We tried to make a call directly to CEO and President of Empire Company Limited, Michael Medline, who was acquired after being let go only after a meager two years with Canadian Tire. We actually got Cynthia Thompson, who's with Sobeys. Here's some clips. Hi, it's Cynthia Thompson. Yeah, yeah, I was just uh, calling to inquire about the changes to Safeway in, in the Mission British Columbia area. Okay. The, the people, uh, the Mission uh, record I was reading, I was reading, and then it seemed like there was some kind of petition going on. Have you heard about this? Uh, uh, um, I can't comment on that. I don't, I don't know about, um, first of all, the communication process that took place around this. Um, prioritized telling employees first um, uh -huh. about the closures yeah. that were announced that day. Um, <clears throat> we had said back in October um, as a company that we were going to be converting up to 25%. Uh, yeah, 64 of the 255. Western Canada, uh, <clears throat> so these and Safeway stores would be converted to fresh coats in Western Canada. But I, I, I chose to do this after I heard about a couple friends and whatnot in the mission area losing jobs. And, and a lot of people really uh, have a close tie to Safeway and were really hit hard in this town. Like there's people, for example, in the grid A of Safeway that can move on and go over to Abbotsford or something like that and continue their work. Whereas people in grid B, even a couple people who have a lot of experience, are going to be out of work, right? But the, I mean, the process is all well laid out in the collective agreement. That yeah, collective every agreement, yeah, of course. The employee has access to, right? So uh -huh. the, what you're talking about are the, the bumping rights for, for Safeway employees. Yeah. And um, 
Um, we're following that. The company is following that to a T. Like we will respect everything that's in in the collective agreement. Oh, fuck. Now I'm led to believe you're part of Grid B. Talk about Grid B and Grid A, for example. And if there's a Grid C, just explain to the viewers. So if you're in Grid A, uh, it means that you've been with company f with the company for a longer period of time. Back when Safeway used to offer contracts. Um, those people have the authority to now bump people with less seniority out of the company, out of their position. Um, if you are in grid B, it means you're not under contract. So we are essentially being kicked to the street. There will be no severance, no nothing like that. Unbelievable. So what are you going to do now after this with your life? Where are you going to work? I, I really don't know. Uh, actually. I'm being told right now that we actually did get through to Michael Medline. Can we can we run that? Hi, Michael. Thanks for taking time out of your busy day to talk with me. So this is really going down to Mission BC with the Safeway, huh? That is correct. Uh, why did this suddenly pop up on news outlets? Uh, why weren't employees alerted to this earlier? Don't act so surprised. Well, I mean... Although hypothetically I could see myself shopping at a fresh go in the future, I mean, this is a sad time for our community here. The way you came just steamrolling through like a heartless corporation. I find your lack of faith disturbing. So for me, it's not the end of the world. I've been there two years. I'm young enough that I can go on and get another job. But there's people that I work with at Safeway uh, who have put their entire lives into this business. You know, they've, they've got their retirement plan. They've been saving. They've got their benefits. You know, they're set for their future. And all of a sudden, they're having it ripped out from underneath them. They're, they're too old, really, to go and get a new job. But they're still too young to retire. And they don't know where they're going to go. How does the union play into this? Contracts and whatnot. So for the employees that were under contract, they can now go uh, into another store and bump somebody out of their position. Uh, there is talk of possible severance for these employees, but nothing official has come down the line yet. I've been led to believe that these people have, with a lot of experience won't be able to continue from their current position at Freshco and they'll literally have to start at the bottom again, even if they're 50 they years old. They don't know that. Well, that's what I've been led to believe, so that's why I'm asking. invited to have conversations with the <laughs> And that those conversations are going to determine what the what the um, uh, employment offer is and oh, what see. the employment basis will be for for the stores when they reopen. Yeah. Okay. This is, all of this is to be determined. Okay. Uh, this is speculation at this point. When we look at comments like this one here from Michael's drowning, uh, Carlos, can you roll the clip? The Oreos were too damn expensive. Sorry, I am not paying high prices to help pay for overpaid union workers. He says you're overpaid union workers. How does that make you feel? Mad. <laughs> overpaid? Um, when I went on my medical leave in November, uh, I was making about 11 30 an hour, uh, 12 30 if I was decorating cakes, and I was pretty lucky if I would get two shifts a week, which is seven hours a shift. So it'd be a really good week if I was getting 14 hours. And I have three kids to take care of. I'm definitely not overpaid. I got four kids to feed. So what happened to number five? Back up your broad statement. Name one company that was bankrupted by unions. Certainly wasn't Sears and look how their shareholders got huge retention bonus while the employees who made substandard wages got the shaft. Please name one. I'm interested to hear one. I'm proud to be union. What Michael is describing isn't unusual. Many businesses have turned union due to bad management, low pay, and unhappy staffing in turn. The stores are shut down as unprofitable, by corporate Walmart and others are notorious union busters. Go to stupid store, or cave on, and be happy with their subpar, or package of meat. I'm more than happy to keep shopping there, and paying their higher prices. I don't want to bag my own groceries, have crappy vegetables, and a bakery that sucks. Not everyone drives a Kia, but that's what we're heading to. That was for the Dairyland milk. We never charged that for Lucerne because it was Safeway's brand of milk. And thank you for thinking I'm being overpaid for the work I do. Maybe you'd like to put yourself in my spot and have people get mad over things you have no control over. Throw groceries and their reusable bags at you and blame you for product shortages and pricing discrepancies. 
etc 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 what I put up as a cashier in a day is not even close to what I should be paid like everyone says have fun shopping at a store where no one gives a damn at least at my store we did I am not thanking any unions <laughs> This was by far the worst safe way in Calgary. I feel awful for the employees, but this store was downright terrible. <laughs> we'll be out of work. A lot of people. People in their 50s. What will they do? Perhaps I can find new ways to motivate them. Okay. Um, let's say I wanted was one of these people and I wanted to move to Freshco, but I had to start at the bottom again. What would you say to that? We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, people in those particular situations also, if they were to move to, say, Langley, Maple Ridge, to continue on Safeway, uh, what, 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 what about that? They must never again leave this city. Um, what the hell are you talking about, man? Perhaps you think you're being treated unfairly? <clears throat> Sorry. Apology accepted. So, Empire is planning on rebranding up to 64 Safeways over the Fraser Valley over the next five years. How do you feel about this? Good. Well, it's been, uh, thanks, thanks for talking. I, I won't bother you again. I hope so. got my termination letter today finally. The store will be closing and ce ceasing operations on May 5th for financial reasons. Uh, our store wasn't one of the ones that was struggling financially. This letter provides notice pursuant to section 64 of the British Columbia Employment Standards Act and collective agreement of the termination of your employment on May 5th with the exception of City Square. All right, so should you have seniority, bumping and or severance pay rights pursuant to the provisions of your collective agreement, you are entitled to exercise those rights, which I don't have any of those rights. Uh, in addition, we will be engaging your union in discussions under Section 54 of the Labor Relations Code. Something that Phobies has been trying to have a conversation around, you know, for almost a year. We've been approaching um, the union, they were invited to the table to talk about the stores that were under financial pressure. And it, this has been known for a long time, that there are Safeway stores yeah. that have been struggling in BC. Uh -huh. and, and we um, invited the union to come to the table in June, I think it was, and um, there was no engagement and invited the union to come to the table again in October and there was no engagement. Okay. So Sobeys was starting to roll in changes in 2015. Talk about some of these changes in the bakery in your division, for example. So when I started in the bakery, um, everything was fresh. It was all made from scratch with real ingredients. Um, there was a lot of pride in the products that we produced and you could tell it in, in the customers, the comments we received from customers. Slowly over time, uh, as Sobeys implemented more and more changes, we started getting things coming in uh, as bagged mixes. So we'd still make the products, you know, somebody had to add water, mix it up, shape the dough, right? Uh, and then it started to become where more and more things would be coming in uh, in boxes, a frozen dough that you just had to stick in the oven, stick in a bag. Uh, now, it's mostly coming in pre-made par-baked bread. So you take it out of the bag, you let it thaw, you stick it in a new bag and strap a label on it. And along with cutting back on the quality of the products, Sobeys decided they were going to increase the price along with it. Wake up, Homer. Those bars are just junk. They're made of apple cores and Chinese newspapers. We're, we're going to observe and follow uh, everything that's in the current collective agreement as far as uh, store closure processes and how employees are going to be treated, that's, you know, we, we will follow that to a T. Okay. Um, but the second part is that we, we need the union to start having conversations with us around what the employment um, agreement is going to look like um, when a Freshco store opens on that former uh -huh. Safeway. I see. Uh, what we call a pad, a former Safeway loca location. Okay, former Safeway so location. All of, that, all of that is to be determined. I think there's oh. a lot of fear mongering going on right now, and and employees. Yeah, are, I see. Um, no, like I, I of course, any you, you're told that your store is closing. Like I'm, I'm, of course, I'm upset, and uh, this is the last friggin' thing that any company ever wants to do is close stores. Yeah. But we have ten that are simply not cutting it. Like we can't we can't afford to keep them open. The issue that I have here is 
whether or not the Safeway clothing will positively or negatively affect someone like myself. Now, I use Safeway for certain things, like bakery and the meat department, when my bank account will support it. Now, that being said, Safeway has benefits and it has back draws that, uh, that affect everyone on a day-to-day basis. Now, this company that's going to be taking over Safeway, I've done no homework in it, I, I know nothing about it, but if they were able to deliver the same kind of product to me on a more affordable basis day-to-day, then it might be something that I would consider beneficial, yet a lot of other people wouldn't because they're all they're all whining about the job's loss and this and this and that. Now, again, so again I'll say I have done no homework on this, on this topic. I don't have any any tangible information on the changes that are going to be made, but I would strongly support it myself if, like I said, the same product was delivered at a more affordable day-to-day basis. I don't think it's going to be more affordable because prices have been increasing. Based on that, you've got potentially some problems there in that aspect. Because let's, let's take what you just said and put it into context. Prices have been increasing everywhere. Now, yeah. if you don't jeopardize quality and you're willing to and you're willing to spend for that, you're still looking for the best bang for your buck to get the good quality. Like Mm. I said before in our earlier conversation, I utilize Safeway when my bank account will support it. Now, if I'm looking for quality and the price is a little bit cheaper, then I will support it. Okay. Well, there there we have that. Progression, you can bring it back to the Amazon argument where everybody's freaking out because there are going to be so many jobs losses. Everybody's going to order all their groceries online. Well, everything's going to be ordered online soon. Everybody's whining about these mom and pop shops. Well, these mom and pop shops might be a thing in the past, but that is progression. And we said at the time of the announcement, okay. um, this is this is quite <clears throat> typical, right, in, in retail. Yeah. Um, that we're not going to lay out a plan for um, every store right at the get-go. Um, yeah. We want to, from a competitive standpoint, not be broadcasting to all of the other big grocery retailers uh, what we're planning to do so that they can get their plans in place to counter you know, our, our um, um, conversions to Freshco. So uh, can I, I, I don't understand... I don't, so let me let me come back again. You're being very evasive about why you're calling. Are you, well, I'm I'm doing a YouTube video. I said, didn't I say that? I said I'm with YouTube. Is, you're with YouTube. Yeah, YouTube video. But then then I make a report on the information. Then people see it, and then I you know uh, they. What's your channel? Derek, sorry, what's your channel? Oh, my channel is Derek Two Shot actually. Yeah, I've not done the video. You can't see it yet because I'm trying to just get information so I know what I'm talking about, right? So Back decades ago, Safeway was the place to work. You had to be a Red Seal baker. You had to be a pastry chef to work in the bakery. It was the place to be, uh, the place that you could stay long-term, advance your career. Uh, nowadays, they are bringing in changes so that you no longer have to have any sort of training, any sort of experience, knowledge to produce the same kind of product that would have been produced decades ago. They want to make it so that, you know, some 14 year old kid can come walking in off the street and and make this exact same bread for minimum wage. All right, well, thanks for your time, Lindsay. Thank you, Derek. Good luck in your future endeavors. Thanks. Uh, but, not by, but not by very much. And the, the coordination of the, the timing was to be as respectful as possible to let everybody know at the same time. Okay. So, if that if that didn't happen, then that's um, you know we're really sorry for that okay. um, because that the the objective was to let everybody know at the same time all all employees. Should so so who who is who makes the who actual decision? Is that Michael? Is Michael the guy who makes the decision? Michael Medline? Like so to go th- Sobies. Is made by um, the executive committee of the company, but it go it goes all the way to the CEO before before the final decision is made, and um, so he's got the big button, so to say. Well, he he would have he would have final approval on something as significant as this. As mm. this, I mean, th- these are these are things that uh, are not taken lightly <laughs> at all. Well, this has all been a little much for me. I've been learning on the job, staying up long hours, working for Safeway. My methods, although unorthodox, have been meant for the good of the community and to help provide a free life for Safeway. So until next time, thanks for watching. Ciao for now. Uh oh.
Uh-oh. Sobeys is replacing two-shot factor with fresca ads. Oh no. Talk about union busting. That's pretty much all this was, was union busting. Now they can start everyone over, minimum wage, no benefits, no vacations, no nothing, now that they're able to get rid of the union. Union busting sounds like something out of that Jimmy Hoffa movie starring Jack Nicholson. Yeah, I'm Jimmy Hoffa, see? That's right, baby. You and your family bunch of rum runners, the Kennedys, see? Hey, don't you talk to me about my family like that. You get out of here. I'll call security, right? I am a, uh, I'm a powerful person. I have influences in the uh, law. Okay. And, and who, why, are, are you a journalist or? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm doing reporting on it. Who are you reporting for? Well, a uh, uh, YouTube channel. Uh, well, no, I'm, I'm just trying to uh, spread awareness about, like, the... I'm trying to get information about why the... See, the shutdown came... i I just been made aware of this very suddenly, like a lot of people were. And apparently there was people who are working at Safeway who um, didn't receive any prior notice, and they had literally read about it on a Facebook news that they were going to be out of the job. The UCFW president, uh, Ivan Limpright, had said uh, he doesn't think it's actually a, a business tactic, but more of a, some kind of a scare tactic. But if you're familiar with uh, the UCFW and Ivan Limpright? Uh, I am. Are, are you an employee or are you calling from the union? Can I ask directly who, who you're... No, I'm not calling from the union, no. Are you an employee of the company? No, no, I'm not an employee of their company. Uh, okay. So, um, 